minutes past seven and today we highlight the work that government is doing for people to access proper health care. The South African government will on this day launch the Human Papilloma Virus or HPV immunization campaign. This will be available to grade four school learners or school girls we should say. The launch takes place at the Gonyane Primary School in Mangaung Free State. For more on the story, we cross live to our journalist, Zimasa Mbeu. Uh, Zimasa, a very, very good morning to you. Well, good morning and welcome to Khonyani Primary School here in Bloemfontein. Well, this school is 47 years old, but was rebuilt in 2010. Hence, you see the beautiful structure behind me. But it's still a school that is in the center of quite an impoverished community. But today, the reason why we're here is for the rollout of the human papilloma uh, vaccine. Uh, about um, quite a couple of learners here will be getting that vaccine. Uh, we'll be speaking to we'll be speaking to uh, Dr. Um, uh, Faith Mazibuko, who will be. Faith uh, Kumalu will be telling us more about the program. Uh, doctor, welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Now tell us why Khonyani Primary School? We chose Khonyani Primary School, but in particular the Free State Province for a number of reasons. I think it's really to acknowledge the major successes that have happened in this province with respect to the educational outcomes. As you know, Free State was number one in the National Senior Certificates uh, examinations last year. But we also know that in this province, the Department of Health and Basic Education work very well together in rolling out the Integrated School Health Program. And really, the HPV vaccination program today is a component of the school health program, and it was really fitting that we would come and have this launch happening. The school. Now we know that uh, President Jacob Zuma actually called for um, health services to be brought back to schools because in the past we know that they were withdrawn. Just tell us about little about the, the kind of services which are offered at schools at the moment. Yeah. We started in 2010 when the president launched the Integrated School Health Program, and there's really a number of components to the program. One component of it is health education, so that we can make sure that children have the knowledge to be able to lead healthy lifestyles and take good choices around that. The second component is the health screening that we all used to have when we were kids. You know, checking eyes for vision, hearing, teeth for oral health to make sure that they are healthy. And the third component of, of that program is really the on-site services, and that includes the immunization, and HPV is part of that, as well as treatment of myelar ailments, so that the children don't have to go to health facilities to get the services, but the nurses and the school health teams actually come to school to make sure that they get the treatment on the spot as they require. Now, ma'am, with this um, HPV vaccine, um, we want to find out whether parents, you know, were educated on it. Do they know about it? I mean, the, do the girls actually know more about it before they can actually sign a consent form? Yeah, that's true. That is a really, really important component of the work that we're doing, and it's work that we've already started doing. I want to talk specifically about Honyana Primary first, that in this particular school, those meetings have been held. You know, there was a parent meeting that was held, followed by an SGB, the school governing body meeting, that discussed this very issue. The girls that are going to be immunized here today with our minister have already received an orientation session from the health team. So already when they get the vaccination today, they would have been informed what it is about and what it is intended to do. But at a national level, we work very, very closely with the school governing body associations. We've also consulted with our teacher unions as well as the principals associations, and all of them are on board, and they've really committed to work with us to make sure that we communicate to parents and community members so that first they understand why this introduction, but also what their specific role in it is because at the end of the day it's important for us to say that this is a major public health intervention that is happening in our country and we need to fully understand why it's done and how we can all together work towards making sure that every single girl has the opportunity to come in and access it because it's really to protect their lives and their future health and prevent cervical cancer which is a major problem in our country at the moment. Okay, so we know that um, HPV is actually quite very much important. That is why it's been given to young girls at the school. It will be rolled out as well to other um, you know, schools in the province. Acro approximately 17,000 schools will also start having this type of vaccine. We'll be giving you more um, on it um, just later on.